Is it biting you? Oh, you, oh, you love me. <laughs> Got a tangle of all sorts of nonsense going on in there. Super beautiful salamanders, really. All right, guys, so uh, me and Alex right now are in the North Carolina Sandhills, and um, we're doing a quick little road trip right now because common theme in our videos, it got too cold in the Northeast, and uh, here we are again. But this time, this trip, we're mostly looking for salamanders. We're gonna get some decent snake weather, and if we're lucky, we can turn some stuff up. But right now, the objective is water dogs, which are a pretty secretive salamander species. Uh, inhabiting creeks like the one in the woods behind us. So we're gonna find some leaf packs where leaves collect on the bottom, scoop them up with a net, and uh, see what we can find. Should be cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do some scooping in this sort of stuff. I did like All right. little ones up that big kahuna. Some water dogs. Yeah. Oh, that is a pretty good leaf pack. Yeah, look at that. Wow, this is huge. Oh, this leaf pack is meaty. <laughs> hefty, hefty load. So there's no bank over here, so. <laughs> All right, dump it. This actually, like, that's really good looking. Oh, here's a little, little one again. So, so far for an update, we're finding these tiny little unidentifiable salamanders or unidentifiable to us, but we're hoping to find a nice adult. Oh. We alive? How deep are we getting? Here, I'll hold you above the surface. Yeah. Ugh. Yar. Oh, we're coming up. <laughs> All right, pull up the head. Pull it to the bank. Come on. Oh, it's so unbelievably heavy. Oh, oh look, there's one. Little baby boy. We keep seeing these. Put them back. Hoping to get an adult, though. Uh, you're double hand this one with me. Uh, 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 uh. There's something. Who are you? Same deal or another? Another. Yeah, save this one though, because that's a little bigger. All right, so we came up from the creek and we saved for now things that we're gonna get a little close up of in this bag. So we're gonna go through a little bag of goodies, Alex, if you wanna do the honors. And we're gonna put it in this clear little acrylic case that we bought just for this purpose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Should be fun. Wish we had like a little tank net, that would be fun. I do. Uh-uh. Oh, that's I'm serious. perfect. <laughs> Oh, this one's bad. Most... Oh, it's getting all uh, disgusting. Oh, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> so slimy. A big leech. Oh, he's That's gonna so stick nasty. to me. Here, we'll... Oh, he's, 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 is it biting you? Oh, you bit. Oh, get off me! <laughs> oh wow, that actually is really pretty though. <laughs> it's beautiful. Look at that like mucus membrane coming off the front with the suction cup. <sighs> so foul. So disgusting. All right, so that's our giant leech friend. Couldn't help but scoop that guy up for now. But uh, the rest of what's in here are probably what we're looking for. We need to uh, field guide them because they're kind of small. I don't, I don't know. I, I think they're definitely young examples, but they could be dwarf water dogs. So um, you want to one by one drop them in. Hey, nice. It's the big disgusting leech. Is that the biggest one? Uh, I think so. Small. <laughs> oh. Still play with the leech. <laughs> How do we still feel? Are, are chiggers a real thing or no? Still yet to be determined. <laughs> but we've got one. Oh, two more. Did we find nectarus? Let us know. <laughs> yeah. 
Got a tangle of all sorts of nonsense going on in there. Yeah, the metamorph length is like... Oh no, this isn't good. What? We, we're wrong? Wait, 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 wait. So the max adult length is 3.5? Inches? I don't know, that's what it says, so like... Oh wait, you don't want to know what I did, but you could maybe guess. I was looking at the dwarf salamander. Oh, Alex. Whoa, he's on the move. Oof. Imagine grabbing that and thinking you found a siren or something, like a an amphiuma. Wow. All right. So uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take these guys back to the leaf packs in the creek that they're hanging out in. And uh, we're going to switch targets. We're going to look for mud salamanders, maybe maybe salamanders, sandals, urisia. Uh We'll see what happens. Farewell. All right. I don't know if I want to be part of this. <laughs> Just gently let them float in. No, 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 not like that. No. Like, yeah, yeah, go like this. I just kneeled down and all the water in my shoes just like ran up to my legs. Oh, that's good. All right, we're looking for the swamps right now. We're down in the lowlands. And uh, check it out. We've got some sort of old tin here. Alex, if you want to flip it, I mean, mm -hmm. no reason not to, but. Unless you don't have your tetanus shot. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh I just spilled. Seltzer all over myself. <laughs> We're a mess out here. <laughs> like when I leaned over to look under. Uh, could be like an old moonshining type type deal. I'm not sure. All right, so we're by this little lake right now. We're just kind of trying different habitat. Looking for seepages, but they're harder to find than expected. But a um, little bycatches, check this guy out. We've got two of them, two different stages in life, but we've got some broken striped newts, a little bit different than the newts we have back home, which makes them cool. And uh, I saw these last time. I didn't see a sub-adult like this. The only one I saw was an adult, but uh, pretty neat. I'm gonna take a quick picture of them and then we're gonna put them back. Here's a look at an adult in our little viewing chamber here. Got really neat orange spots on them as adults. It's pretty aesthetically pleasing little dude. Yeah. That's cool. These guys are super, super beautiful salamanders really. Underappreciated because, well, I guess common in some areas, but really, really pretty salamanders. Or newts, I should say. Really neat. Kind of fun way to spend the day. We're going to put them back in the water here. This smaller one is kind of trending towards being like a more terrestrial stage of their life form, but we found them both in the water, so that's where we're going to put them back. And uh, yeah, we're going to let them go on their way and we're going to keep looking around. Pretty neat. Looks like a T Rex. All right, we're starting to eke out some finds here. Alex just got two little green anoles. They're basking out on branches? Yeah. That's pretty neat. Everyone likes lizards, come on. I don't really stop to admire these too often, but look at the little dewlap. Have you done this with an anole? Seriously. Like, Is it colorful? Being very gentle, by the way, but cool little dewlap on there. He's cool. Well We're going to take a quick picture and let these things go. All right, so photography on easy mode. Got my DSLR, and then we've got a southern dusky salamander right here that I just snapped a couple pictures of. Um, I really don't know the taxonomy of these things, but apparently there's a couple different uh, variations, and uh, I think they are declining and relatively rare, so I'm gonna get this guy back where he's supposed to be in just a moment, if I can get a hold of him. There we go. <laughs> Got him. All right, so this is a strange find. I was trying to lift this log for salamanders and uh, unfortunately it broke like that. 
and uh, you know we're down in a pretty wet area and this rough earth snake fell out of the layers of the rotting wood. It's pretty warm today but it's December so wasn't really expecting this. Kind of neat though. Um, my big camera is back at the car so I'm not really gonna be able to get a good close-up of this guy for you but uh, he's uh, he's pretty boring looking real dark in color so oops I'm just gonna put vlog back together as best as I can and put him back all right so it's getting dark on us here we've been grinding hitting seepages and we just got two Carolina sandhill salamanders but we've got we've got them sitting in some water here I'm gonna pose them up for photos and give you guys a better look at them because they're little so here this little guy is uh, not too interesting looking to be honest um, sometimes they can be orange with more spots and stuff a little bit more similar to a long-tailed salamander but that's not the case for this one pretty average looking but uh, cool to see cool to see Alex's lifer and uh, we're just gonna let it go in a second here all right so it got dark on us but at the edge of this lake Alex just spotted a carpenter frog we already saw one of these it's kind of a nice one yeah let's see. yeah look at that these guys are pretty neat they like these kind of like sphagnum filled wetlands like this. I might even take a picture of this guy. It's kind of like uh, I, the one I saw. Yeah, so I had one get away a couple minutes ago, but check that out. Carpenter frog, nice. All right, guys, well, uh, it's uh, getting around dinner time now, and uh, one thing about this time of year is that the days are really short, so time in the field is a bit shorter, and uh, for that reason, we're gonna wrap things up for the day. Um, it's really dry out. We can't find any full vernal pools to shine, so we're at a bit of a loss. Uh, not a super productive day, but fun getting water dogs um, and a variety of other small amphibians and uh, just exploring those creeks, so good time. We're gonna wrap things up. If you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.